And that is as far as it is going to go. Welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. I'm going to make a passing mention. And do you see the motherfucker all the way on the left? He has an orange for a helmet. People, I understand. You want to show off your creative skills in the game. I understand that. Clothes have different colors. I understand that. But for the love of all that is holy, good, and has bacon and cheese mixed in it, do not put on anything that makes you stand out. Don't. Now, why am I bringing this up? Look at your screen. I mean, you already, you already are, but like... If it can pick out three colors that you see right now, excluding my objective, what do you see? A gray, a dark blue, a green, right? Okay, three colors. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't orange the opposite of blue? He has on an orange helmet. Hmm. Now... Like I said, I'm not trying to knock anybody's creative tendencies and whatnot. But if you want to walk around looking like a highlighter, don't cry when you get shot in the head. Don't cry. Because, like, the developers knew what they were doing when they put the, that bullshit construction-ass helmet in this game. It was a way for people to die quicker, which would lead them to, guess what? Buy body armor from the store so they can survive because they want to wear their helmet. Now, that's me being over simple, but you get what I'm trying to say, though. Do not, I repeat, do not buy that stupid ass helmet. Do not. Now, I'm saying that, I mean, I have owned white, right? And we all seen what white can stick out against on every map. Because I fucking wear this outfit everywhere I go. But I have a black one, too. And we've seen how the black uh, outfit has um, saved my ass a couple of times. But best believe I'm wearing black or I'm wearing white. You're not going to see me wearing a red jumpsuit. You're not going to see me wearing a blue. Um, well, actually, I did wear a blue uh, suit. But my point still stands. Don't wear anything obvious. Okay. I, I just had to get that out of my system. I had to. Because I look like right now, right? I'm in a shadow. You can barely see me. But what if I had a bright yellow helmet on my head? I'll be dead. I'll be dead. Okay. Now it's out my system, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's out my system now. So. Y'all are probably hype as fuck. Oh, look, an attic. Y'all are probably hype as fuck for one reason. Yeah, I bought a crossbow out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. I decided, I decided to bring out... What the fuck? Okay. I should be able to see him? Question mark? Is that two car alarms? Nope, still one. And yet, I don't see his ass on the bridge. He must have kept moving. I'm going to say it. There is no easy way to cross the center of this map. The bridge, you can get caught on. The water, you can get shot at. And the other bridge, you can get caught on less often, don't get me wrong, but uh, there may be somebody waiting for you on the other side. Of, well, either side, really. So, here's what I'm thinking. Since that guy crossed that bridge, wouldn't it make sense for somebody to, like, I don't know, be walking over here? I'm going to place this glint down. For no fucking reason, just to make some inventory space, because why not? Now, I'm going to no man's land. And when I say that, I don't mean that everybody dies here. What I'm saying is only one man spawns on this quadrant of the map. This little foresty area. Only one person spawns here. So technically, once he runs out this area, nobody should be here. No man's land, right? So I'm watching the bridge. And 
I don't see shit. I don't see anybody getting in position. Now, could I shoot them with this crossbow from this far away? It will be a stretch. But it is possible. Also, folks, I'm going to point this out too. Notice how quiet it is. All you hear is my footsteps. We heard shots at the very beginning of this match. And that's probably because on this quadrant over here, this quadrant, across from the little foresty area, there are two people that spawn near each other. Those two guys probably fought. And that's it. And then we heard an alarm, a call alarm. And that's it. So you see, now I'm getting anxious. It's the quiet ones that get you. Ladies, you know what the fuck I mean. Guys, you also know what the fuck I mean. It's the quiet ones that'll get you. So you see, I'm being extra cautious. And I'm getting PTSD from that bunny that killed me. I'm glad he got, I'm glad he got killed. If you didn't watch the stream, then you won't know what I'm talking about. So, before I hit the comm station, I realized this door is open. What the fuck? I don't trust it. That comm station is open. And that door is open. I didn't come in from that way. But then somebody gets the airdrop on the other side of the map. Now, it makes sense that I didn't hear him. But you mean to tell me he went... I want to, okay, let's assume it's the same dude. He went from this bridge to the middle of town and not got shot at. Nobody shot at him. That shit uh, is a little bit alarming because where is everybody? Everybody couldn't have left. Ain't no way. So, on a whim, I kind of am hopeful that uh some freak accident will happen and um this guy kind of dies and i can catch old boy slipping who killed him oh shit would you look at that we have an exit camper why was he up there this late in the game i'll tell you why because he didn't move at all. Okay, so we heard two three round bursts. It's an M16. It's not a bugle. M16 flies, fires slower than a bugle. I know I'm going to stir up a bit of comfort, a bit of controversy with this next statement. Magnum headshots feel better than crossbow headshots. Yeah, I said it. When I hit that headshot, it's like, yes, but also, yes, but not as heavy as a Magnum, yes. When you dome somebody with a Magnum or the Swisher in this game, it's almost like you take a really big ass rock and you like drop it from the top of a dam into the water down below. That's what a Magnum headshot feels like. What that felt like right there was throwing a tomato against a bed of spikes. It, it, it don't give you the same amount of dopamine in your brain. You know what I'm saying? But regardless, there you go. I'm gonna lead by example here. If you want, if you want to get one of your, um, how can I put it, prerequisites for joining the JSS out the way, you gotta do that. You gotta do that. Now, I'm not saying headshot them. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is kill them with this crossbow and show me a proof. Now, there's no specific kind of levels to it, but I will say this. I will say this. If you get into a gunfight and you have a crossbow on you and some way, somehow you come out on top. 
you have my respect. But if you make it a nice clean headshot like how I did, then that means you watch a lot of my videos. Like a lot of my videos. Now, I'm gonna leave it to KSB or Digo to pull this shit right here off. And yes, I'm talking about you, homeboy. In case you didn't know, KSB Odigo is the same fucker that made an M249 try to drop shot him and he killed him with a knife. The golden knife at that. KSB, I feel like you'll be the kind of person who will use a crossbow, shoot the guy once, make him stagger, then ultra instinct your way up to him and bash him on top of the head with the crossbow and kill him. You will melee somebody with a crossbow. That's what I'm saying, KSP. I feel like you'll do that shit. That's what I feel like. But regardless, guys, a kill's a kill. Okay? Also, did you notice? Between us, between the time I headshot that guy with this crossbow, and now, nothing. We see doors open. Still, nothing. Everybody got their marshmallows out and their peanut butter cups too. It's a campsite. Everybody's making s'mores. Nobody wants to move. You see, I'm like in this house, listening. I'm probably the only person moving right now. And that's why I pause at that door just now too, just to make sure I didn't hear anybody. Now, I got an M16, right? So I feel like I have the right to use it. But am I going to? That's the question. You see, houses still not touched. Listening. Nothing. That time's safe. Guess what? Has not been touched this entire fucking game. That detector has not been touched this entire fucking game. Nobody wants to play. Radiation's closing in. I back off. Time to get the hell out of here. Now here's the scary part. Case in point, everybody's camping. Case in point, when I headshot that guy, Picked up his bag. What did you see? An M16, two rounds, and basically nothing. The fucker didn't move. Now, I'm pretty sure there's about seven people that spawned on this map, and I didn't go back and look at the pre lobby encounter screen, but I shot one person. We heard some gunshots at the very beginning of the match. So, out of seven, there's five remaining. Assuming nobody else died or left, there is five people on this map, and yet nothing is touched. Now, this shouldn't scare you, but it should give you anxiety. Because if Diverg Forest and or Fiel Content has not taught you anything, hostile bushes are a thing. Hostile exits are a thing, too. Notice the deeper I get into this exit, the more movement I have. Because at this point, I'm not going to hear anybody. I'm not going to see them. I'm going to just get shot at. And all I can really do is keep moving. That third airdrop is still there, still flashing. That detector has not been used. That time safe has not had one padlock unlocked. I didn't want to do it. All I got is a crossbow. It's an ambush weapon, 100% an ambush weapon. I'm not doming somebody on the move, on one knee, in a gunfight, and it's not happening. And our radiation has engulfed this map, and yet still, Nothing's happening. Guys, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this match was fun to play. But goddamn, was it annoying. It was annoying. 
and I feel like it comes from new players not knowing the game and not knowing what to do, so they sit in one spot and they wait to kill somebody. It's not because they're camping, it's because they're afraid. That's what I feel like. But I'm also giving them the benefit of the doubt too, so I mean, there's that. But regardless, this one is in the history books. Now, I don't know when this shit was played, I kind of forgot the date, but I've gotten a crossbow kill in 2022. So, uh, yeah. No more will I say, refer back to the video called, Y'all Did Not Ask For This. I'm going to refer to this one right here. I don't know what the title is going to be at the moment, but I'm going to try to figure out something catchy because, uh, yeah. People, I don't think you should learn anything from this video. Nothing from this video because there's barely anything happening, really. I walked around, picked up some stuff, noticed the guy, kind of tracked him on the map a little bit. He got ambushed. He got fucked. And then I got justice for the boy who got killed. And where was everybody else? The world will never know. The world will never know. People, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.